Madhuri, hi, hi, Sonia. You look fantastic. <laughs> Ashwin won't even notice. Of course she will. Ashwin, look at your beautiful wife. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> I told you. What's going on? Your parents' marriage is falling apart. Oh, but where's Shane Ritchie? He's been in there a while. Maybe it's nerves. <laughs> Shane, darling, hello, hey, hello, nice hello sweetheart. You okay? We were a bit worried about you. No, fine. You should have asked the driver to stop. Yeah. It's dangerous to hold it in for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Jane Austen, Jim, come on. Nice to meet so, you. Yeah, show. How are you? Yeah, yeah uh, it's really off, great right? to have you. Oh, what, sorry, what have you done to it? No, nothing. I don't... Shane, yeah. how many sheets did you use? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it before. Let's go on the okay, Yeah, love to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, you okay? Oh, yes, thank there you, you darling. Now, Shane, yeah. you are a red blooded man. Look at Madhuri's hair. What does it say to you? Does it say. Fox? It, yeah, it does. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Mr. Ritchie. How are you? Ashwin Kumar. Ashwin, nice to meet you. Fantastic to meet you. Thank you. Who used the downstairs toilet? It's Mr. Ritchie. Ah, uh, no matter, no matter. Just out of interest, how many sheets did you use? <laughs> Dad? I'll, I'll, I'll sort it. I'll sort it. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. It's the cistern. Still hasn't noticed my hair. What about your hair? You need to pay your wife some attention. You've got competition now. This man here is a lady killer. It's <laughs> nonsense. I'm very attentive. You spend more time talking to Bruce Forsyth than you do to me. I talk to you all the time. Mm, when was the last time we had a... Hold on. Hello? Brucey, you old dog! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, listen, listen, can I call you back later? I'm just talking to the wife. You must have met her. The woman who drops me off at the golf course. <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> OK, OK, bye-bye, bye-bye. Good. <laughs> what? Thank you, thank you very much. Now, the phrase all-round entertainer could have been invented for my first guest if it hadn't already been used for the likes of Roy Castle, Sammy Davis Jr and Patrick Moore. Uh, him, because as well as astronomy, he does the xylophone. So, anyway, please welcome <laughs> Shane Ritchie! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sit, sit yourself down. Oh, yeah. uh, May I say, just yeah, before we start, uh, hair. Hi, hi. Okay, good. Hold on, hold on. Kesehair. Yeah. And something else I need to say before I do carry on. Okay. I, know, I normally know this. Kesehair by Hot Kushi Wea Milky. Hi. Very good. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, Hindi. Yeah, it's Hindi. Oh. Yeah. Very good. I spent uh, a lot of time learning a little bit of Hindi a while ago, so. Fantastic. Well, look, I'd, I'd like to just dive in, yeah, if sure. I may, right? You can do anything. I speak Hindi a bit. A little bit, uh, yeah. Like singing, yeah. dancing, yeah, acting, I, I, comedy. Yeah, I'd never say I was any good at it. I mean, I blagged the whole musical thing. I mean, it, it, I mean, I, the show Grease, you don't have to be a fantastic singer or dancer. I mean, show... Do, would you say that to John Travolta? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. To face. No, he, he was a great singer and dancer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I only managed to pull it off eight times a week. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> a, bit, a bit personal, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but eight shows Listen, a week. If it yeah. helps your singing and your dancing. You're right. Why not? <laughs> Dad. Uh, Mr. Ritchie. Hello, sir. What's the difference between an all-round entertainer and someone who'll do anything for money? <laughs> Mr. Ritchie, Mr. Ritchie. The wages. Don't bother <sighs> answering him. He doesn't know how to talk to people. No. Oh, well, well, no, I'm interested. Yeah. What do you think the difference is between... The difference is... An all I see, I... I, I, the things I've, got, I've done, I've been asked to do. I never set out to be a game show host. It was just, for some reason, my personality fitted that particular show they wanted at the moment. And it's strange, because when I worked at the holiday camps, I used to call bingo. So they asked me to do a bingo show on television, and I'm like, oh, OK. Now, that, that, that does bring me neatly to my next point, actually, because, right. it, you know, I, 
we're both all-round entertainers. Damn right. Uh, but, uh, but unlike me, you, as you say, you, you learnt your, your trade in the holiday camps. Yeah. Wh which one was that? Wh that was Pontins. Ah, where, where Pontins. Was that? Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, 15. I, I, I actually lied about my age. I told him I was 18. That's oh, very really? young. Yeah. Didn't you go to school? No, I bunked off school and uh, my oh. mum was taken to court for it because I was doing really? Donkey Derby on the East Coast. <laughs> But, uh, something I've always wanted to ask, actually, what, what is the significance uh, between the different colours of coats that they wear? Right. Butlins wear red, don't they? Yeah. In Heidi Eye, they're yellow. Yeah. And the brown shirts in the... In the <laughs> what, what's so funny? I've just got a very amusing text message. <laughs> it is very rude to leave your phone on, Ashwin. Turn it off. It's from Bobby Davro. Oh. Bruce, he told him you were on. Did he? He says... If you don't pay him back that tenner you owe him, he's going to relieve himself in your fish pond. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that. He's very unprofessional no, he's as a producer. Just... Yeah. Well, I, I hear he's not too hot as a husband either. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a great dad. <laughs> he's one heck of a dad, let me tell you that. Now, now after an all-round entertainment education at Pontins, yeah. uh, you then moved on... Uh, Mr Ritchie. To... Yes, love. Don't. Pontins and Butlins are lovely, yeah. but have you been to Centre Parks? Oh, yes. <laughs> it has yeah. a great big dome. It's got a big dome, hasn't it? And a great swimming yeah, pool. Do yeah, I you brought, know that? I brought my kids yes, there Pontins once. Pontins yeah. wouldn't be the same with a great big dome over it, no. would it? <laughs> but a great big dome is nice with the children, mm. isn't it? Yeah. They don't get wet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Where's it going? <laughs> Neither do, neither do I, which is no. rather worrying. Yeah. Anyway, after Pontins... Yeah. Right, you know, you went... we once went to Pontins. Yeah. St. Cool. Jeeve was in a cot and he wouldn't settle. Oh. Every five minutes he kept on screaming. I was 25. I should have had my own room. <laughs> <laughs> it was just humiliating, that's all it was. Anyway, we've covered Pontins, OK? Yeah. I'd like, like to move on to the next stage okay, of your career so. and leave those knobbly knees competitions behind. Oh, right. did you do knobbly knees competitions? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, did did you? you? You should take a look at mine. I could clean the floor with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I can't show you my knees. I'm an old lady. That would be very improper. But why don't you come and feel them and describe them to the audience? <laughs> do you want to have a little feel? <laughs> OK. You'll be amazed, don't you? Yeah. Now, feel that. Oh, yeah, you flattened some grass, didn't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what my secret is? What? Osteoporosis. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Shane, sit yourself yeah, down, sure, sit yourself yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> so, after Pontins, your Jane, career really... Yeah. you're a bit of a charmer, aren't you? Uh, wouldn't you say that it was generally a good idea for a man to compliment a woman on her new hairdo? Always, yeah, I, I think it's very important. Yes. Excellent. Can we can we move on, Dad? Yes. I have a question about a different subject. Good. It's about pontins. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've done pontins, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Now moving on. Uh, now I read somewhere here it is on this card um, that you're the first person to write, produce, and star in a musical on the London stage since Noel Coward. That is fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. That really is amazing. I mean, there's a ton of questions we need to ask about that. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Mum. So... Who's Noel Coward? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, Shane, what do you, what do you miss most about Pontins? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Richie, I, I, I heard that you went out to LA to study method acting. Huh? Yeah. And what I want to know is, who did you fly with? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I might, may have been BA, probably. I'd, I'd like to ask a question about yes. method acting. OK, mate, yeah, sure. Uh, give, me, give me a minute. OK, uh, sorry. Shane, when... darling, yes, darling? Uh, I remember reading, didn't you say your ambition is to win an Oscar one day? Yeah. I mean, what, now, yeah, you one, said of you would, yeah. one of my ambitions was to be at the Palladium when I was a kid and I achieved that. Another great ambition of mine was to write, star and produce a musical and I never thought it'd happen and I've done it. And I, you know, anyone is an actor and I'm not too embarrassed, I'm not too proud to say I defy any actor not to say one day they'd like to stand there and go, I'd like to thank the Academy. Ah, of course well, I would. So, you, you, so you would so ideally like to win an Oscar for acting? Y yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because you could win Oscars for loads of stuff. As a wig mistress, I could win it. Exactly. I'm so sorry. You are? Yeah, no, because you were saying about the hair's lovely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I didn't know. But, um, yeah, no, you're right. But no, as an actor. Yeah. yeah as an actor. I'd but like you, you are doing very well now because you're in EastEnders, aren't you? Yeah. And you are behind the bar where a lot of great British actors seem to end up. 
Uh, is it daunting? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've not been there that long, so I'm still new to it, but, you know, I still, like, every time I go beyond the bar at the Vic, I do pinch myself and think how lucky I am. Not just that, but also the, all them great, colourful characters that have been uh -huh. there in the past. And um, what about uh, when Barbara Windsor laughs? Because that's pretty daunting, isn't it? Is it? Oh, <laughs> she's great for it. We, actually, we had Barbara on the show. That's right. She guest. sends her love, by the way. Oh, oh that's nice. sends her love. She well, that, that's good, because uh, Dad fancied her. <laughs> and, uh, it was... It's OK. It's OK. <laughs> it's all right. Probably not the best time to mention it, but anyway. But this, uh, have you got your Oscar speech worked out? No. No, I'd love to... No, I'd love to... What? I don't know if I take the mick or be serious, because uh, me and my boys always talk about it, and, I mean, I, I used to joke about this years ago, about what I'd do if I ever got an EastEnders. Yeah. You know, and I had this great speech plan that I'd say to the whole cast if I was behind the bar, and I'd say, right, you lot, Richie's here, right? And I actually got there and went, la, 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 la. <laughs> you, know, you do realise you can't win an Oscar for EastEnders? No, I do really. Oh, that's all right. I'll right. yeah. be quite happy in EastEnders now. No, I do, you see, I mean, the Oscar thing, because I have worked my Oscar speech out. Have do you want to hear it? Yeah, no, no, okay, right. no, yeah, no, no, no. Let's hear Shane's instead. No. Come on. Oh, I'll tell you what, no, you do yours and then I'll do You've mine. Got to practice. Okay, right. Okay. Well, mine would be very simple. It'd be like... Okay, well, hang on. Let me do it properly, right? So I'll be, I'll be Billy Crystal. Okay, we'll do the nominations thing. All right, okay, right. And the nominees for Best Actor in a Film are <laughs> Tom Hanks, yeah! Castaway, Johnny Depp for Whoa! Sleepy Hollow, yeah! Bruce Willis for The Sixth Sense, Whoa! and Shane Ritchie in Pontins the Movie. Yeah! Yeah! And uh, here to announce the winner, an old Punjabi woman. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I can't open this damn envelope, and uh, I don't believe it's such a good friend of mine. It's Shane Ritchie! Yeah! yeah. Uh, that camera here. Yeah. Okay, look, I'd like to thank the Academy. Um, I'd like to thank the people behind the scenes for putting me where I am today. Uh, I'd like to thank all uh, Sanjeev for being here in Hollywood with me tonight. Um, but most I'd like to thank my agent and especially my girlfriend and also my two boys who are watching. And uh, good night. Well, God bless you all. And <laughs> I love you. Peace. I have no idea what I would that say. Was that was dead. rubbish. Do you want to hear mine? I'd love to. Yeah, come no, on. Come I'm going to do mine. Pretend to give it me. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to say. Old lady in Titanic, up yours. Hey! <laughs> your turn, your turn. Uh, Ready? <laughs> I'd like to thank my son and my mother-in-law uh. and my hairdresser. Hey! <laughs> Anyone else? No. Hey! <laughs> Right, right, can I, can I do mine now? No. Yeah. Oh. What? No, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, okay. okay. And the winner for the Oscar is Sanjeev Kumar! <laughs> this, this moment is so much bigger than me. Uh, for all the people who went before me, Parky, Ross, Vaughan, Norton, <laughs> this isn't for you. I'm better than you. <laughs> The only person I want to thank is my guest, Shay Ritchie! Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the last time he took me out. Uh, they've been drifting apart for some time. Really? Mm. What's the problem? Your mother and father don't talk to each other anymore. Well, they're married. That doesn't mean they can't talk to each other. Ah, uh -uh, but it means you don't have to talk to each other. Isn't that right, Shane? That's the reason you get married, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Is it the physical side of the relationship? Oh, uh. Well, it's true, isn't it, Shane, darling? That is often the reason a lot of relationships go wrong. It's sex, isn't it? Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> you know, Shane. Yeah? I think that Ashwin inherited something from his father, my husband. He was a lovely man, brilliant mind, with the libido of a captive panda. <laughs> It was really a case of lie back, close your eyes, and think of an independent India. <laughs> Shane, yeah? you've been around the block, haven't you? Why don't you... Right. Why don't you give some advice to Ashwin? Tell him how to treat his missus, huh? Will you? Uh, Ashwin, yeah. Shane wants a word with you. 
<laughs> so, how are you? Yeah, well, I think we need what to talk. What do you want to talk to me about? It's about relationships, really. Well, I'm glad we've had this. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> Have you met Robin Gibb? Uh, no, not yet. I'd love to meet him. Can I? Great, thank you. <laughs> Don't give another thought to the toilet. Oh, right. <laughs> These things happen. Okay. You've probably got a big, wide toilet at home, so it doesn't matter how much paper you put down it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the matter? I thought you were going to talk to him. Are you frightened or something? Why didn't you say anything? Honestly, I was relying on you. What? Hello, Mr. Gibb. Welcome. Ashwin Kumar. Come in, come in, come in. This is my wife and her hair. Yeah. This is my mother. Nice to meet you. And this is my son, Sanjeev. Oh, Sanjeev Kumar. Hello, nice lovely. I'm the, I'm the host of, of the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about the disruption. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you met Jane Ritchie? How are you? Hey, okay. nice to see you. Yeah. We had a little bit of an accident in the toilet. Oh. Yes, <laughs> well, it was more of a tragedy. The flush broke, and then there was a chain reaction. Oh. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, see, I mean, you see I mean, what I'm doing? Yes, do I mean, you? I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah. leave it. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Shane Ritchie. Still hasn't gone. Um, <laughs> now, Pop is littered with great trios. Uh, Cream, The Police, Jam, Boney M, if you don't count the bloke. But my, uh, <laughs> my next guest is part of one of the most successful trios ever in the history of everything. Please welcome Robin Gibb for the Bee Gees! <laughs> Welcome, Robin. Thank you very much. I, I, I can't believe I'm sitting with an actual Bee Gees. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. I, I mean, you are like musical royalty. It's don't nice you? you say that. I mean, it's uh, but uh, I just feel like you know Robin Gibb. Oh, well, it's, it's so modest, isn't it? Very yeah. modest. So, uh, so now, nice I do want to uh, talk about your new album. Uh, right. But on the way to new album, uh, I do want to bring uh, viewers up to speed right. uh, with the story of Robin Gibb and oh, the right. Bee Gees. Yeah. So, so I've got a plan yep. and a structure. See what yes. this. Okay, cool. Robin, right. Robin, yes, talk to us, darling. It's much more fun over this yeah. side. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> you know, we haven't really had many legends on this show, but mm. you really are a legend, you well, know. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. You know, Mr. Ritchie is a legend too. What? Okay. His nickname is The Legend, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a nickname. That Where you. did you yeah. say? So we've done you. Oh, no, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's like you're doing again. You know. Exactly, exactly. Well, maybe after the show. Um, <laughs> but, uh, that, that, as you can see, I, I do have some kind of creative tension working with my uh, family. I understand that. Uh, do you, do you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's very understanding. Right, yeah. uh, do you ever uh, have kind of creative tension working yeah, with your brothers? Yeah, I think that's a natural thing. Even if you're not brothers, you're going to have creative tension. You know? No, just no, no. There are no disagreements. When it comes down to it, I have the final say on everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so it, 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 is Barry like that? Uh, no, actually, because he's the older brother, yeah. everybody thinks assumes that he's the, the, the boss, but it's, a, it's actually, you know, even the, the, uh, one of us can, can be the boss at different times. What? Because um, you, you're one of a twin, isn't yeah. it? And are you, are you the older twin? I'm the older twin, yeah. So, I came out first. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You thought that Sanjeev was a twin before he came out, and then we just found out he was a huge fat baby. <laughs> Mr. Gibb, Mr. Gibb, yes. Barry's hair is nicer than Ashwin's. Yes, and he's got more of it as well. Possibly. That's a major difference. But that's just a different style, though, isn't it, he's wearing? Thank you. You're bonding, aren't you're, you're, you? I'm bonding. It's a quality moment. <laughs> <laughs> you need some collaboration in this house. Yes. Uh, Robin, if I, if I could return to my plan. Yeah, know, sure, go on, yeah. Right, uh, and start at the very beginning. Right. Now, you were born Robin Hugh Gibb, isn't it? That's right. I was. Okay, excellent. Yeah. On the 22nd of December, That's in right. the Isle of Man. In the Isle of oh, Man. Oh, the Isle of Man is yeah. lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 It's a very nice yeah. place. What an adventure, born on the Isle of Man. Yeah. 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 What are your favourite spots in the Isle of Man? Uh, I, I like Laxey and Ramsey and, and Peel, Peel Castle. Yeah. And, of course, Mount Snaefell. Right. Do you know Balaf Bridge? No, I don't. Is that where the fairies are? No, no, it's this humpback bridge that goes the wrong way. Ah. Oh. Right, that's well, where does it go? But as, as, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you wrote any songs whilst riding around the humpback bridge. No, no. Um, we can leave that. Uh, as you did leave the Isle of Man in yes. 1956. I heard that on the Isle of Man, if you commit a crime, they can hit you with a twig. It's called Is the birch. You're thinking of the birch. 
That's it, that's it. In Singapore, they hit you with a bamboo. Yeah. But on the right. Isle of Man, they hit you with a birch. That's right. Isn't yeah. it, Jane? Apparently, yeah. Apparently so. <laughs> so, Robin, um, have you ever been birched by the Manx authorities? Not recently. Not recently. <laughs> but I've been threatened a few times. Right? Oh. <laughs> and, and what about you, Shane? Have you ever been birched? I can't believe oh. no one's ever been tempted. Never around the Manx, <laughs> never. Never around the Manx. Never around the Manx. Have you ever been birched, period? <laughs> I've been slapped about a few times, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, but you paid for that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's getting late. And all Sorry? We're, we're all, all we've established is, oh, yeah. is that you've been born. That's um, it, yeah. <laughs> so you, you left the Isle of Man, and then in uh, 1958, is it you emigrated to Australia? Yeah. Oh, Australia is a lovely oh, place. <laughs> From the Isle of Man to Australia. Yeah. What a journey. Oh. Yeah, OK, we're not, we're, not, we're not doing that again. We just did that. Uh, now, uh, Robin, it was, it was in, in Sydney you played your first major gig. That's right. It? Uh, well, tell us about that work. Well, it was actually with uh, Chubby Checker, the guy did the twist, and, uh, wow. and we were sort of right uh, on the end with him because that, the record company that signed us wanted us to be on with a, a big star at that particular time. And we were on with him, and that's when we got our first recording contract. Uh, where Sydney. was that then? Where Sydney was... Stadium. Well, when you did your first gig, Robin, did, did you see before, during or after the, the Sydney Opera House? No, I actually watched it being built. Did you? Yeah. Oh, there are so many wonderful sites in Australia. The yeah. Great Barrier Reef and, and, and Ayers Rock. Which Ayers. is your favourite? Um, I think uh, probably Ayers Rock would be my favourite, yes. near Alice Springs. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. What about my brother and his wife? Ah, oh, yes, Anil and Manju, they live in Sydney. Yes, Anil oh. is my second eldest, he's a dentist, very successful. Oh, wonderful, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, when you're next there, Robin, you must go and see them. Well, they're them. a magnificent yes. sight. Yes. Uh, on a clear day, you can see all the way to Tasmania from the top of Auntie Manju's head. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. It's all right. Yeah, <laughs> now, yeah. if I might return to your career in England... Yes. Right, and, ...and move back from Australia, right. after Australia. Yeah. Yes, Dad. I have a question about England. All right. Uh, Mr Gibb, why do Australians call English people pommies? Ah, it's initials. P O M E, prisoners of Mother England. Oh, oh la, la, la. extraordinary! But um, isn't it French for apple? <laughs> for what? <laughs> Pom. Yes, well, that, that, that as well. Uh, you know. Well, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you call people after a fruit? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Americans call English limeys because they ate limes on the boats going over. Shane, you've been to America, yes, isn't it yes. true? Yeah, no, it's true, they, yeah. They had limes. It's because yes. of the vitamin C content. For, for sc against scurvy. Sorry, Robin, would you, look, would you like a magazine or something? But you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Well, actually, Robin has yeah. been to America many, many times, haven't That's you, true. darling? Yes. Mr. Gibb? Yes. Who do you fly with? Who do I fly with? <laughs> Oh, the American, British Airways. What's the legroom like in economy? Oh, oh honestly. <laughs> don't ask Robin Gibb what the legroom is like in economy. He's a superstar. He goes first class. Shane, what's the legroom like in economy? <laughs> 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 it's very slow. Very slow, yeah. Listen, look, I'm serious. We're, we're only right. up to 1958. Now, Robin, we are going to talk about your music, yeah, which right, is just right. fantastic. Oh, I have a question about yes. your music, oh. Robin Sweetheart. Yes. Um, how did you, the Bee Gees, develop your very distinctive singing style? Well, we don't know because we just started singing together naturally, you know, mm. we, we, we just from little kids. So we didn't really weren't conscious of actual singing style or sound that, that we actually adopted. It just became... Uh, just part of us. Yes, Lord. Just evolved on its own. But what, but what what fascinates me is that uh, you can you can do the high singing, right? And you can do the middle singing. Yeah. Did you ever experiment with low singing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Ro Robin, would yes, you love. like to have some conversation with the grown-ups now? Yes. <laughs> Now, <laughs> I know a lot of people who've got it on to your songs. I know oh. some of them personally, actually. Oh. Now, <laughs> it must be a wonderful feeling to know that your music has inspired so many romances. I hope so, yeah. What I'm... advice have you got for a man who knows nothing about how to keep a woman happy? <laughs> um, I think he's got to start bearing his soul a little bit more. His soul? Definitely just his soul, yeah. OK, just checking. <laughs> I expect Robin always compliments a lady on her hair. I oh. expect Robin is a very busy man with a lot of paperwork who doesn't always look at his wife's hair, aren't you, oh, Mr. Yeah. Gibb? It's, it's paper everywhere. I mean, romance has its place. <laughs> yes. But when you've got to arrange to have the toilet fixed after the show is finished, it, you know, it, it changes things. <laughs> yes, well, that's where... Which should come first, Robin? Well, I think art has to compromise with reality somewhere, because there's always reality to deal with after art. 
you know something? On paper, this is such a great interview. You know, the, the 60s, on the paper, disco, yeah. the writing, the producing. Yeah. We can talk about any of that stuff. But we're not. <laughs> not so far. <laughs> oh, but Mum. Ah. You live in a castle, don't you? Well, it's a converted monastery, actually. Oh. But you're, it's close. I mean, some people probably would. Discuss. It's a thousand years old. Wow. That must oh. cost a fortune to eat. It does. <laughs> <laughs> But then you appreciate the problem, yes. I, I believe, I remember reading somewhere that you've got a couple of ghosts there. Yeah, we've got, oh, and, and a font that fills up on its own with water every few weeks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You sure that's not the plumbing as well? It could be the plumbing. <laughs> I've had it all checked. Can't find anything else that it could be. You know, if this, if this had gone to plan, uh, we'd be asking about your latest album. That's all right. By now. You know, is there any chance of that? I have a ghost story. Oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> I was staying in a castle once. It wasn't actually a castle, but it was a house in the style of a castle. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, Shane Ritchie is still listening, and I think Mr. Gibb is very interested, aren't you, Mr. Gibb? You have my attention. Okay. <laughs> I was awoken from a restless sleep at about 4 a.m., perhaps a little earlier, <laughs> and I could see a misty figure hovering at the end of my bed. It was in the shape of a woman, <laughs> and it was about five foot high. No, maybe slightly taller, maybe five foot two. <laughs> and I thought, this is impossible. The only woman in the room is Marjorie. Then I saw it was Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting a glass of water. It's <laughs> <laughs> profound. Has he finished? <laughs> yes. Robin, can you, can you top that? <laughs> This is, this is all very exciting stuff. It's all, I mean, that's, that's an amazing story. Robin, please don't encourage him. We have to live no. with him. I know. You, you leave at the end of the day. Uh, now, fine, can we move on to your solo album? Yes, okay. Fantastic. Um, what's it called? It's called uh, Magnet. Sanjeev. And, uh... um, sorry, Robin, we're out of time. I, it's, I'm sorry, but uh, will you come I'd, back and that, talk that, about it or something? I'd love to. Yes, please yeah, that, come that back. That would be fantastic. Yes, Thank please. you very much, Robin Gibb. <laughs> And Shane Ritchie! I don't know, Robin. Maybe we just expect too much. I mean, what is it, Robin? What is the secret of what? keeping a woman happy, huh? Robin, tell that secret to Madhuri. Oh, Robin, try, try and say I'll, something. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Pardon me? I've been having a talk with Shane Ritchie, and he's put me right about a few things. I do spend too much time talking to Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> From now on, things are going to be different. I'm going to spend much more time with you. I'm going to be a better husband. Oh, stop it, Ashri. You had me at Bruce Forsyth. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Listen, it's been a pleasure having you. No, thank you very much. Don't worry about all of this. No, I, won't. I don't want you to think for a minute about waving your feet. <laughs> Accidents will happen, mate. Yeah, I know. We were going to get a new toilet anyway. And Watch a out. new carpet. Right. <laughs> and wallpaper. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Take care, Shane. Bye bye. 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 You know, I feel bad about Mr. Gibb not being able to use the bathroom. Oh, he'll be fine, don't worry. Not on the roses, Mr. Gibb! <laughs> <laughs>